Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a trainer at the University of Bath. Today I'm going to take you through a warm-up that will help you prepare for your circuit workout, your HIIT workout, any sort of cardio workout, and that it will help you be most effective so that you're warmed up and you're ready to go. So what you might need, a skipping rope and perhaps as an option there is a resistance band. So we're going to start with some skipping and we're going to do a descending pyramid. So that means we'll start with about one minute. I'm not necessarily going to do the whole minute, but we're going to do uh, one minute of skipping on and then we're going to do 20 seconds rest and then we're going to do 45 seconds work and then 15 seconds rest and vice versa. So if I start my stopwatch, we can do that together. So for one minute on and let's go. So for skipping, it's very important that you just rotate the wrists. You don't need huge movements, just small incremental rotations of the wrists. And then we're going to keep the toes together, feet together, and we're just going to jump upwards. Obviously take it at your own pace. One minute is quite some time. Take rest as you need it, but try and go through if you can. If you get a bit bored, you feel like you need a bit of variation, do a single step. And it's okay if you trip up. If you trip on the rope, that's all right. Just start again when you can. So again, we might mix it up. exactly one minute so now we're going to take about 20 seconds of rest we're going to get back into it again with 45 seconds of work this time maybe you want to increase the intensity because we're working for less time so we'll be starting again in about five seconds get your breath back and ready to go again and we're ready so remember those those teaching points here energy if you step too high so be as efficient as you can obviously it's something you will learn over time and that's okay you'll improve very fast though you can also make this a workout too it'll become quite intense so it's good to keep consistency nice rhythm rotating the arms Standing on the front of your toes, your feet, and get that breathing right. So that's about right. We're going to take just 15 seconds now. So if you have a time for yourself as well, that might be helpful. And I think we're about ready. So now we're going to work for 30 seconds. Go a bit faster if you feel like you can. We want to increase the intensity so that we get that heart rate up. You can choose to do the skipping either as your pulse raiser at the end or at the start, it's up to you. I just feel like I have the most energy at the start to do the skipping. And when that's about 30 seconds roughly, we're going to only take a 10 second break now. And then we're going to go into uh, 15 seconds on and the last one's just going to be 10 seconds on so we're about ready to go now I may be getting the times off very slightly as I'm talking but like I said you can keep track too and then get some speed So now we're just going to take a 10 second break and then the last one is 10 seconds on working quite hard this time as our heart raises and let's go last 10 seconds and you're done so that was it for the pulse raiser or for the the first part of the cardio workout or the warm-up and now I just have three or four exercises that we're going to go through the dynamic stretching part of it. 
which is slightly less intense. It's up to you how hard you decide to make it. But obviously, you want to kind of keep your keep your um, intensity at a low enough level so that you're still ready to do your your main workout and that you're not completely burnt out. So maybe working at about 65% of your maximum heart rate when you're doing these, maybe you're skipping your working a bit harder. Um, but yeah, it's just good to get that blood flowing, get ready, get your body and your mind in the mood for the, the main workout, the circuits. It's very highly demanding. So um, now we're going to start with about 20, 30 butt kicks, um, tw uh, 30 high knees, and then 20 jumping jacks. So we're going to do that as one round and we'll do two sets of them with no breaks in between those three exercises. So if we're ready, that's one, two, three, four, five, ten. 30. And then we're going to move straight into butt kicks. And you want to get your heels as close to your bum as possible. Get those arms moving too. Nice and parallel. When you've done about 30, then we're going to go into jumping jacks. And we're going to do about 20 of these just until you feel warm enough. your breathing and notice the heart rate going up so that was about 20 we'll take about a 15 second break and then we'll do that round once more finish with one more dynamic stretch so it's important when you're doing high knees you kind of get that right angle here you keep the back straight so that your core is engaged um, and then for the butt kicks, like I mentioned before, the heel to the bum, you want that sort of movement. It's a good range of motion. And then lastly, for the jumping jacks, sometimes I get it confused, you might have noticed. You, when your arms are coming downwards, you want your legs to be inwards. So there's the opposite movement here. Your legs are in, your arms are, uh, are in too, and vice versa. Okay, so now we're going to get back into it again. We're going to go high knees, bum kicks, and jumping jacks, or any sort of variation that you feel comfortable doing. That's 20. That's about 30. Now straight into butt kicks. Just 10 left. one now again is the jumping jacks so you kind of want your hands to touch you want to get good good range of motion here with both your legs and your hands as they come up and go out and then once we've done 20 we just have one dynamic stretch left if you feel that like you've got it in you, otherwise completely fine just to stop here. This is definitely, this is definitely enough to do before you feel like your heart's raised, you feel like the blood is flowing, you feel like the muscles are warm and that you're ready to begin. But I'll just show you this last one in case you feel like it, or you prefer it over one of the other exercises we've done. So the option here is a resistance band. You don't need it. It's just to help you remember to keep your feet outwards your knees outwards sorry so that you have good control over them and that they maintain parallel so here we're going to do squat jumps around 10 to 15 of them whatever you feel comfortable and body weight is is great so you don't need to add any sort of weight here so like a normal squat shoulder width apart we're going to drive through the heels and we're going to bounce upwards so we're going to have that momentum from our lower body and we're going to use it to drive ourselves upwards and use our hands too so it's going to go something like this and squeeze your glutes at the top so that's five i'll just do ten and land on the heels and feel it through the glutes 
the glutes and the quads are where you'll feel it most. Then, if you want to, we'll just do one more. Of course, I'm just showing you all these sorts of different exercises you can do for different amount of reps, different amounts of time, completely up to you how you choose to integrate them into your program. If you do more, if you do less, if you do it in a different order. But do what you, what you enjoy doing, because obviously, at the end of the day, that's what will keep you motivated. So just last 10 more for me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.